Hello everybody, I am Tones Balones and I have been wearing dresses and skirts for over four years as part of my regular wardrobe. Why do I do this? Well, I figured a long time ago that there's not a lot of variety in men's clothing. It seems like you only get to wear pants and shorts and t-shirts and blah 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 blah. So eventually I decided I was going to start adding skirts and dresses and at first there was a lot of fear as to what people were going to think of me, but eventually I started to get over that fear and wear them confidently. And ever since then I made it a personal mission to try and convince other men who are in that position that there really is nothing wrong with wearing women's clothing. So here are five tips to get you started on how to wear dresses as a man. Tip number one comes from a question I used to get all the time, which is what shoes do you wear with dresses and skirts? Now my entire life, I was always a one pair Paul. I would have one pair of black Nikes that I got from Kohl's and I would wear that for two or three years and then I would get another pair of basic sneakers. And that rode me through most of my life. If you would have told me five years ago that I was going to be the type of person that has more than 10 pairs of shoes and they all have a purpose, I would have called you crazy. Now keep in mind, this is over the course of several years and the shoes last a long time so it's not like they're going to waste. However, if I were to recommend just one type of shoe for somebody getting started, it would be white sneakers. These are a pair of plain white Keds and as you can see, they go with a huge variety of skirts and dresses from sun dresses to mini skirts to mid-length dresses t-shirt dresses strappy dresses i can wear it with almost any of my outfits getting white sneakers is the easiest way as a man to fit shoes with your dresses because they're a lot easier to find especially if you have larger feet size 11 and up because finding those shoe sizes in women's is increasingly difficult i personally got very lucky i only have nine and a half size feet so usually women size 10 fits me fine. Any brand of white sneaker will do. You can have Vans, you can have Converse, Nikes, low tops, high tops. It does not matter. Just have any kind of white sneaker and you're pretty much good to go. The second tip I have for you guys is to try on everything. You will never know what kind of dresses you like to wear unless you put on a lot of different styles. This is not like men's clothing at all. Men's clothing is easy peasy. You have small, medium, or large, and usually you're going to stay within one size that you know is always going to fit. Women's clothing does not work like that. Trust me. The sizes do not make any sense. I have worn a medium in some brands and an extra large in others. I have to check the measurements charts anytime I ever buy something online. Nothing ever works the way that it should. You have to try on everything. I'm sorry, that's how they get women because as you know, women be shopping. It's an unfair thing that you're gonna have to deal with if you wanna get started with this fashion trend. There's also a lot of factors that show up in women's clothing that will make things look worse than they are supposed to even if you meet the measurements. One of the most common problems that I've found is I have very broad shoulders and very large arms, meaning that a lot of times a medium or large size dress that would otherwise fit my chest and my waist just doesn't fit right because my arms don't fit in the sleeves. Yes, of course I'm bragging, relax. Another one is of course the cut of the collar line. Men are not known to have the boobage to fit in a lot of clothes that are meant for boobage. So you do have to be careful. Anything that is too deep of a V or something that is clearly shaped so that boobs are meant to fit inside of them, you have to avoid because they're just not going to look right. You're gonna end up with bubbles and exposed skin that just doesn't fit the shape of how the dress is designed. Tip number three is specific to skirts, and this is a problem that I see very commonly, even among women, and that is to wear the skirt at the right waistline. For example, this is a plain black skater skirt, which is meant to be worn at exactly the waistline, AKA right around your belly button. If you can see your entire belly button, the skirt is just too low. Wearing it at the right length is important because it affects your overall silhouette. So if you wear your skirt at the correct length, it is going to make it appear like your legs are longer and your waist is thinner. There are some skirts that are meant to be worn lower like this denim mini skirt, but even with all the confidence I have, sometimes I just don't like how this looks. 
the last two tips are going to be a little bit more psychological and not an actual fashion tip so be prepared this is going to speak towards my experience tip number four is going to be start by wearing skirts in an environment where you feel comfortable already one perfect example of this is Halloween. Simply choose a female character that you like a lot. In 10th grade for me, it was Princess Peach. And then buy that costume and wear it out amongst your friends. Or if you exist in a group of friends that likes to go to restaurants or go to bars, and you know that you're going to be going to a place where you've been many times and you feel comfortable, then try wearing it out then, because at the very least, you're going to be around your friends who are going to support you if anything goes wrong. Trust me, nothing is ever really going to go wrong, but it'll make you a little bit more at ease. Which brings me to tip number five, which is wear it confidently. The goal of this video is not to encourage more people to be trendy and get reactions out of people just by wearing a dress or a skirt. Now, don't get me wrong, people are going to confront you about what you are wearing. It's going to happen because it's not normal yet. And if it does, it's usually not malicious. Honestly, most people are going to come up to you and say, what, did you lose a bet? Did you lose your fantasy league or something? And whenever someone says that to me, I just say, no, no, I just wanted to wear a dress today. And usually the primary reaction to that is, all right, cool, right on. And they'll give me a fist bump or something. But that all comes with confidence and it's something that I can't really teach you, but it's something that I can at least talk about in this tips video because it is very important to me. Anyway, if you have reached this far in the video, I want to thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. The support has been absolutely insane on this channel for this dress vlog tips, man in a dress kind of content. So I'm really thankful for that. I do plan on doing a Q&A regarding me as a man wearing dresses and skirts, so if you have any questions about that topic, leave them in the comments below and I will respond to them to the best of my ability in an upcoming video. As always, smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm and if you are new here, hit the subscribe button to see more content that is just like this. See ya!